everybody, what's up? Couple of thoughts about Kobe Bryant today. First off, gotta give the Mamba some credit for his Game 6 performance against the Suns. The guy was hitting some unbelievable shots. I thought Alvin Gentry said it best. He said, you know, there's an intense game going on. You almost have to laugh. We were playing great defense, and he just hit tough shot after tough shot. It's a great way to describe what happened in that game. But fast forward to this finals rematch against the Celtics. There's so much on the line for Kobe. If you think about it, if Kobe wins, Kobe's going to be the best player in basketball again. That's just the way it goes. It's going to be like deja vu from last year. Everybody who is saying LeBron's clearly the best is going to be saying Kobe's clearly the best. That's the way it's going to go. But the bigger picture, Kobe will have five rings and he'll be that much closer to getting in that Michael Jordan range, that Michael Jordan territory. The conversations and the comparisons between Kobe and Michael Jordan, they're going to amp up if Kobe wins. He's going to be right there. He'd have a lot more work to do, but he'd be even more so in the conversation. But if Kobe loses, you can forget all that Michael Jordan stuff. That'd be the third time he's lost in the finals. Jordan never lost in the finals, ever. Plus, it'd be the second time Kobe lost to the Celtics. You talk about losing to the Celtics on that stage, Lakers versus Boston, forget it. It'd be crippling for Kobe. So it's interesting to me, Kobe's legacy is really at a crossroads here. He's got so much more on the line than anybody else does playing in the finals this year. I'm Brian Now, and that's a no-brainer.